Guten Tag, wie geht's? Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here, and I've done a good amount of HK videos in the past that I'll put up on the screen here on my channel, Dan the Wolfman. I got some coming out on the best full-figure DASA models, best DASA carry guns with the P2000, uh, why I picked John Wick's pistol for duty carry, HK45C, why the Navy SEALs used it in the Bin Laden grade, uh, range reviews, unboxing reviews, pretty good amount of HK. Uh, content i like hk so hk please send me a hat so anyway uh with shot show literally a couple days around the corner i thought i would break the news since i don't have an nda like other people uh hk doesn't know me i'd like them to i'd like them to send me a hat or something but anyway here's hk's new micro nine millimeter now will this be a shot show not on the open doors maybe behind closed doors to show some people um but here is HK's new Micro 9 getting into the Micro 9 category. Now, there's a lot of options that are going to be available. And in HK fashion, this is made for HK's German Tier 1 Special Forces and um, probably made to order. Uh, but what we have here is a nice looking Micro 9. Probably, I would at least 10, I would hope that it's 12 round standard capacity magazine with 15 or 17 rounds to follow. Uh, that would be nice. We see a lot of different grip back straps on the SF9CC, the SF9CC, and uh, striker fired with trinker dingus VP9 ish. You interestingly enough will have three different magazine uh release options available so uh what that means is for people that like it like myself i carry the p30l when i'm doing armed security the uh release the paddle release is still going to be an option there's going to be a b or magazine release style as well and interesting and interestingly enough they're going to bring back uh a rear or uh, bottom European style button, uh, bottom of the magazine release option as well. So there's different variations that this can be had. Uh, look at the low mounting of the red dot. Some of you bouncing ball shooters may find that uh, interesting. It seems like it's a very low mount, which is great. Uh, is this a three inch barrel or is it going to be more like 3.3 inch? Personally, I'd rather see a 3.3 inch type barrel, like 3.26, 3.275, 3.36s on their different SK models, P2000, P30, VP9. 3.3 inch is going to get you best, better hollow point full expansion. Um, under three and a half inch barrel, nine millimeters, you pretty much need a federal HST or a federal punch. Um, so I like 3.3 inch, my pocket backup guns at 3.2 inch barrel better than a three inch barrel. Uh, but I digress. So we don't know the barrel length. We do know trigger specifics, two different trigger options available. Uh, the SF special forces trigger is going to be just slightly better than a VP nine trigger. Uh, it looks like based on pull weight and length of travel and all of that. Uh, I forget what the other trigger, um, is called TP or something like that will be a slightly heavier, slightly more trigger travel option, which those of you that are worried about, you know, appendix carry or no holster carry, as this may be designed for, uh, may prefer that option. Now, um, it's a little late to the party. It's so late to the party that you're not going to be able to get one. That's the bad news, or at least not for a long time, because it's looking for early 2024 delivery to German Special Forces Tier 1 groups. I'm sure a few are out there being beta tested already, probably in various forms. Some may have the wing on the back of the slide. Some may have different slide serrations. Uh, interesting enough, like a P365 SAS, there's going to be a flat profile version with no um, slide release. You're going to have to run the slide, uh, etc. They talk a lot about in the advertising comparing it to a needed void of a PPK. There's mention of Glock 43 and P365 in their advertisement uh, for any of you German speakers out there. And um, so it can basically be retrofitted. It looks like there may be designed in a place to put a clip draw style clip, uh, you know, for your underwear carriers working special forces plain clothes. Uh, there's a lot of talk about, uh, you know, maybe wearing a tux 
like your James Bond or having to carry in a purse. A lot of, especially if you're female type mentions uh, in the advertisement. So if you have to carry in a small purse at a VIP event or executive protection, uh, et cetera, or if you're wearing a tux or a suit, this micro should have you covered. So that's what is going to be offered. Now, the amount of back straps, the amount of magazine release options being three, two different trigger options, some different slide options. Uh, it looks like I think there's going to be a clip draw tripe add on. Uh, you can put, um, you know, it, it looks very interesting. I hope that it's 12 plus one with 15 and 17 round mags available at some point. I hope that it's more 3.2, 3.3 inch barrel than a three inch barrel. And uh, the looks like a nice red dot mining optics uh, system. So basically a micro VP9. Um, and, you know, that's a good thing. It's going to be very late to market, but HK cares more about the military. And uh, those types of tier one contracts, and then they do civilian sales so we can whet our appetites. But maybe if you're a better insider than me, uh, maybe they will show some back room. I don't think so, but maybe they will. They have done so in Europe uh, in early 2022 to some people, uh, probably. But uh, anyway, finally a micro from HK. I'm a big HK supporter. Would I get one? Probably. Uh, if I can get an SF with a slightly better trigger and I can still get a paddle release. Why paddle release? Uh, John Ask carries a P30, likes the paddle release. I like the paddle release. I use my middle finger. Um, and I change carry guns and change guns a lot. And I turn it in. Uh, to work in my workspace, and I just kind of know to either use my middle finger or use my thumb. It's not really a deal. You can use it on either hand, but you're not going to get accidental mag releases, which I've gotten a couple before, especially when sh shooting weak hand only on certain pistols with high recoil rounds. I've had some accidental mag releases before. That stops it. Uh, same like people, I love the Air Delta. I have videos on those. People complain the mag release isn't fast enough. Well, more important is to not drop the mag in a gunfight than the very, very small amount it slows you down. I can tell you through going through a SWAT school beta testing. So um, anyway, guys, here's your new HK down the road micro pistol. Please look at my HK videos. I got some big ones coming up. A tabletop of the best full figured model DASA models comparing the P30L to a couple others and then doing a review on the range with all three as well as with the uh, US's military official hot 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 plus P plus 115 flat point M1152 used in that review. You're going to want to check out for best DASA carry gun, the P2000 versus a CZ. I borrow a lot of firearms, not all are mine. Uh, you might want to check that out. That's getting pretty popular. I think the P2000, HK, if you're listening, P2000 is forgotten about. And the P2000s that came LEM, I believe, and even still to this day, they're coming heavy LEM. Push the DASA. Uh, there's people that want that. There's a resurgence, and uh, new appendix carriers may want a double action, single action, or traditional TDA uh, type pistol. Uh, and light LEM is pretty awesome, guys. Uh, you either love it or hate it. Uh, I fired a light LEM on the HK 45C, aka the um, M. Mod or Mark uh, 24, Mod 24, HK 45C that the Navy SEALs used. Make the P2000, but with light LEM fees and uh, redesigned grip texture and call it the P2025 instead of the P2000. Come out with it in 2024. Call it the, instead of two years late, come out a year early. Uh, with a P2025 HK, if you're listening, because the P2000 is probably one of the best carry guns in 9 or 40 in uh, double action uh, DASA or in LEM that you could get. And I don't want to buy a used one, unfortunately, because then it's probably heavy LEM. Uh, and I guess you can change two of the three springs to make it pretty good, almost a lightish LEM. But I don't like to tinker myself uh, with something that's going to be carried. So um, HK, I get on the P2025. Because not everybody wants a micro. Now, this micro, if that could be my backup, 
gun fit in my pocket, which it kind of looks like. I don't think I necessarily want the wings on the back DP9 style. Uh, I don't mind slide releases, though. It really doesn't make a difference in a pocket if it has a slide release. You don't really need a SAS version unless you want the SAS version for absolutely discreet undercover infiltration type super special forces work. Uh, undercover LE work where you're using a clip draw and want no levers, no nothing uh, to carry it in your underwear and, uh, you know, maybe prison pocket carry if you absolutely need it. I'm just joking about that. I mean, I hope. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Have I ever uh, packed something uh, interestingly gotten creative to pack an underwear in a non discreet environment before? Yes, I have. And they are taking that into consideration. And for purse carry at VIP gala, dance ball events so it looks like it will offer a lot so maybe it will be late to the party but uh hk usa i really hope that we get it i would buy one uh i don't own a vp9 uh but if this cleans up the trigger just a little bit maybe i would if this has a striker control device uh, some of these things german translated and i don't know it looks like it's just vp9 where the striker will pop out the rear as you can see down here ish if you look at my mouse um like it does on the Eric's Delta, but it doesn't stop it if you put your thumb on the back from going off. It may give you, if you go really slow on reholstering, a little bit of information, hopefully. But it'd be great if that was kind of striker control device where it would stop it. Um, then it'd be an appendix carrier dream. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, other videos I might do. I might do a video on Rossi and Taurus. Some have been announced a couple days ago. I've known about it for a few weeks. Some of the new Rossi and Taurus revolvers that are coming out. Uh, so I might make a video on that. Please thumbs up, share, subscribe, and check out all my HK content. If you carry a gun for self-defense, don't just have a deadly force option, but I carry a gun. Uh, you might want to have actual weapon retention, be able to fight like John Wick, like my fight like John Wick video on my YouTube channel. Uh, give my combatants street jujitsu instructional on BJJ Fanatics. Highly rated, four and a half hours. I share a lot of stories involving weapons, multiple opponents. Uh, whether you have a weapon on you or not, as you may not in, in certain uh, overseas countries and whatnot. And I share a lot of real world stuff that I can in there as well as some uh, defensive display gun use uh, stories as well. So uh, I suggest you get it because awareness and tactics are what you need as well as weapon attention. You don't just only want to, well, I, I did a couple months of jujitsu or taekwondo and now I carry a gun to handle all knife attacks. Yeah, that if you want to live, you might want to pick up my instructional. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks for tuning in. Please thumbs up, share, subscribe. I'll catch you on the flip side. Guten Tag.